Hello and welcome back to all of you, my subscribers, likers, shares, and commenters. This is the Glades Guard Girl over here in Zontene, Florida. So in today's video, guys, I want to go ahead and start sowing some seeds for my fall garden. And I have a whole bunch of seeds that I will be sowing. So yes guys, it is extremely windy over here in Zone 10 a, Florida. I am not sure what type of weather conditions you're experiencing right now. Um, we have uh, a little over a month left before summer ends. I know that summer is going to end somewhere about um, September 22nd or the 23rd. So what I want to do in today's video is to go ahead and start my seeds so in, let me see, in the next three weeks or so, I will have my seedlings to transplant out into my fall garden. So these are all the seeds that I will be popping in the soil right now. So let's just get into it. So guys, you all must be wondering what does cutting this bottle have to do with um, me sowing the seeds? But I remembered that I didn't have any dividers for the, um, the containers that I'm going to sow the seeds in. So this will be used, these will be used to mark the containers to let me know exactly what is sowed in them. So let me just go ahead now and finish cutting some more bottles so I can have enough and then I will start sowing my seeds. Guys, the rain has started. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to finish cutting the bottles inside. And then I will come back later um, after the rain to sow the seeds. So guys, I came back outside to grab my knife to finish cutting the bottles. And look what I saw. The bag with my seeds. Oh my goodness gracious, they were left outside. Oh Lord, and if the rain had started, I would have cried for these seeds. Lord help me. Okay guys, I am back. And for the sake of time, I went ahead and I did some of my markers. And I used a piece of blue tape to write the name of the seeds that I will be putting in each container. Now the reason why I am using the blue tape is because when I am done using this piece of plastic, I can just remove the tape and whatever, wherever I am going to be using this again, I will just put another piece of tape and write the name of the seeds or plant that I will be using in a particular area. Alright, so let's start popping some seeds. So one of the things that I normally love to do when I'm going to sow seeds is to wet the area. It is totally optional, you don't have to do it, but I like to do it. Because sometimes the type of soil that you are using, the water is not absorbed easily. So you can do this, pre sow the area, and then add your seeds. So 
so this is how tiny the kale seeds are and I will be dropping two seeds in each hole for security purpose should in case one doesn't germinate and of course I don't like thinning out so if both seeds are looking healthy I'll use them and even if they're not looking healthy I'm still going to use them Okay guys, so here is the 16 must have seeds for my fall garden. They are black magic kale, scarlet kale, dwarf blue curled kale, red Russian kale, thyme oregano, red woven basil, sage, sweet Italian basil, mammoth red rock cabbage, round Dutch cabbage, also have some cilantro, Roman chamomile, celery, cauliflower and chives so if you have not yet started your seeds for your fall garden guys go ahead and do so and let's enjoy our fall garden together thank you so much for coming along with me as I start my seeds for my fall garden see you in the next one guys <music>